Hey guys, it's Dr. E with TheManualTherapist.com. Uh, today's Wednesday vidcast is about how I helped someone restore his sidekick. So, uh, he came in with an acute onset of neck pain on direct access, and uh, I had seen him in the past for frozen shoulder, and I had cleared up pretty well last year. Um, his SFMA basically showed he had a loss of cervical side bending rotation, uh, or rotation flexion to the left, his uh, left-sided LRF was pretty good. MRE was still a little bit limited. It's media rotation and extension or a functional IR scratch test. His trunk rotation to the left was DN, uh, pretty moderate loss there. So basically, he used a little ISTM to clear up his uh, cervical patterns in his upper trap. And after about 30 or 40 self-mobilizations, uh, his side bending had improved and most of his acute onset of cervical pain had gone away. Also did a cervical thrust manipulation that got him to end range much, much faster and much more comfortably. Uh, that was pretty much resolved by the end of the session. We still had some time left, so I said, is there anything else you want me to address? And he said, yeah, I have trouble doing a sidekick. And he just turns out he's taking Taekwondo with his son now and he couldn't, uh, he couldn't chamber which for those of you guys who don't know what that looks like, it looks like this. So a chamber is when you come up and you flex the hip and uh, you have to rotate your trunk as well. You stand on one leg. So the rest of the SFMA pretty much showed he had a loss of, he felt his hip was very tight and he thought that it was really painful. Uh, and we thought that it was really tight, but in reality it was more of a stability problem like many of these things are. The thing with the rapid responding uh, area is that when the motion comes back rapidly, they had the motion all along, it's just that they didn't know how to use it. And whatever technique you choose to have them get that motion back, whether it's MDT or you know soft tissue work or corrective exercise, they did have that motion all along. So in his case, he had a very limited uh, active straight leg raise it, uh, and deep squats. Um, both of them actually were more stability issues because passively he had full motion in his hip. Uh, so I chose to do a little bit of ISTM to his IT band, did a quick functional release with some diaphragmatic breaths of his psoas. Turns out he uh, had no idea how to diaphragmatically breathe. I cued him on that. We practiced that for about five to 10 minutes and did some core activated straight leg raise. With, after that, his straight leg raise improved to FN, and he had a much easier time chambering. However, it still felt a little tight. Um, the last thing I had to work on was basically then thoracic rotation. So uh, instead of just manipulating him, I taught him how to do the ballistic whip. So in sitting, put his hands on a sternum, and I had him just rotate repeatedly to the left as fast as you can. Gave him a little target, had him go further, further, further toward midline. So his, his rotation was getting further and further. Uh, after that, rotation was a quick FN. And after that, he was able to do the chamber. So then he was able to chamber up and kick. So I'm a little rusty, it's been a while since I've done that. So for homework, gave him uh, ballistic whips with trunk rotation to the left, retraction, cervical retraction with end range loading and side bending, and core activated uh, straight leg raise. Came back today, he said his neck was pretty much 100% better. Still had a little bit of stiffness in the upper thoracic spine. Um, he said that chambering and kicking was not quite as easy as it was when he left, but it turns out he wasn't doing his he was doing his ballistic whips in standing and not in sitting. So when I taught him how to do it in sitting and we worked a bit more in breathing, we didn't have to do any hip mobility stuff because after he got his breathing down and his trunk rotation down uh, in sitting, because in standing actually your hips can compensate for that lack of rotation, he was able to chamber just fine. So that's what we got a sidekick on.